let's consider problem 8.51 in which we have an insulated cylinder fitted with a piston so this fellow is insulated so the state contains 5 degree ammonia degrees Celsius and x equal to 0 0.929 the total volume initial is equal to 200 liter 200 liter is equal to 200 into 10 raise to minus 3 meter cubed we require this in the appropriate units later on to find the mass ok so state 2 <coughs> the external force on the piston is increased very slowly compressing the ammonia until T2 is equal to 50 degrees Celsius so the process is given as slow compression so this is a reversible process moreover it is an adiabatic process so an adiabatic plus reversible is isentropic because ds equal to del q by t for a reversible process in general ds is greater than equal to del q by t for any process but for an for a reversible process equal to get equal to del q by t moreover it is it is an insulated system so this is equal to zero therefore s2 is equal to s1 okay so let us try to make an estimate of how the process will look like on the TS diagram initially the state is at saturated in the saturated dome and it is at 5 degrees Celsius so it is somewhere here the second process is compressed and the temperature increases while the entropy remains same so this is 50 degrees Celsius, this is 5 degrees Celsius the process occurs in this direction and the entropy remains constant so using the first law Q is 0 which is equal to U2 minus U1 plus W12 equal to mass times the specific quantities plus W12 this is the total quantity, this is the specific quantity we have neglected changes in the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the system because there is no such contributions from these steps <coughs> so let's go to EES we write down T1 is equal to 5 X1 is equal to 0 0.929 volume is equal to 200 E minus 3 this is in meter cubed ok T2 is equal to 50 degrees Celsius moreover we have been given that S2 is equal to S1 where S1 is the entropy of ammonia at T equal to T1 and x equal to x1 in order to find the total mass we have to find the specific volume the specific volume of ammonia at state 1 is equal to volume I copy this therefore the mass is equal to volume divided by the specific volume ok similarly so because we know what the S1 is, the S2 is known so state 2 is known entirely right now we can quickly go and plot so ammonia in the TS don't show lines of constant quantity quality so in the TS diagram let us overlay the plot for ammonia on the x-axis is S on the y-axis is temperature ok let's have field markers for this 
okay so the process looks like this which is not bad considering this was just a schematic okay the schematic and the actual process are very close so it is very important to have an idea of how the process is happening before actually trying to solve it so now we simply use the first law thermodynamics find out the work done on the system because this is the work done on the system so q12 is 0 q12 is equal to mass times u2 minus u1 plus w12 so <coughs> what is u1 equal to it is the internal energy ammonia t equal to t1 and x equal to x1 similarly u2 is the int energy of ammonia at t equal to t2 and x e s equal to s2 we can use the entropy as a state as an as a parameter to find out the internal energy because s is a state function it is an ext extensive state function depends only on the point where it is located and not the path okay this is a concept in which we can use internal energy enthalpy entropy apart from the temperature pressure and volume to con to characterize the state okay so we have found out the internal energy using the temperature and the entropy so we know the temperature and the entropy of the second point okay with this we can find out the internal energy conversely we could have found out the entropy using the internal energy as well so let's solve the problem so the work done is equal to minus 108.2 kilojoule so the negative sign indicates that work was done on the system <coughs> 